What is going on guys? Welcome. I hope all is well. So I chucked it up further north for uh, cooler weather and it is beautiful. There's just one thing I didn't realize to check and that is the wind. It is supposed to be windy today and tomorrow. So we're gonna see how this camping trip goes. But let's just get camp set up and hope for the best. I have camp all set up. It's been set up. Um, it's starting to rain. Ugh. So I'm kind of hustling to keep everything in the dry. Oh, hold on guys. Shit. Ugh. All right, let me take this. What? All right, we are. Ooh, it's it's raining good. <sighs> okay, it's raining. Damn. Um, let's look at the weather. So it looks like it might, there might be rain for the next three hours. Okay, so it's been about maybe a half an hour since that little fiasco. It's it's just been sprinkling, so no like really um, downpours or anything like that on and off. I'm looking at the radar right now. And so you can take a look. The blue dot is us and all the purple stripes. That's where the wind is blowing. And obviously you can see like the green and blue. That's the rain.
it, it, it appears like around 3, 4 o'clock, any chance of rain should stop. You know, I will say the only thing I did forget today is a jacket. I do have my flannel that I can put on in a sweatshirt, so that's good. But it's supposed to be cloudy. I, you know, it's funny. I was looking at the weather yesterday, and it said it was supposed to be partly cloudy, mid-60s to low-70s. That's what I was expecting um, here. 10%, and it said 10% chance of rain. Man, did it change real quick. I forgot to take a look at the wind, so the wind today, it says, I'm looking now, it says 15 miles an hour with wind gusts up to 40. Dang, man. So yesterday, partly cloudy. Yeah. And today it says cloudy, 30% chance of rain. Yesterday it said 10% chance. Which, I mean, like, to that, 10%. So it looks like it's just in the afternoon. By 4, by 4, it's 2 o'clock right now. And it's saying by 4 p.m. it'll be partly cloudy from then on out and then the clouds will clear up around it says around 6 p.m. so that's kind of good because then I can make my dinner it's just the issue with the wind man dang two trips in a row not going my way all right well I think I'm just gonna chill in the tent until I guess four I'll chill in here for like two hours and then go from there. All right, the clouds have broke. As you can see, it is partly cloudy now. The sun is starting to peek out here and there. So yay for that. Um, I realized I never got a chance to show you guys camp. So here's what camp looks like. So that is my setup. I am now debating what, what I'm gonna be doing about dinner and the campfire. So luckily, um, I'm, I'm making tacos tonight. So all the only thing I have to cook is the meat. So yay for that, thank God. Um, but it's windy still and it's supposed to be windy all day. And we will see, I guess, how that goes. The other dilemma I have is, as you can see, I brought a ton of firewood because I wanted to have an awesome campfire. There is the fire ring right here, which I am going to fix up. I already decided I'm going to go ahead and fix it up. And uh, I fig I'm hoping that, just like all the other times when sunset hits, the wind just completely dies down, if not goes away. That way I can have one. If it keeps up like this, there's no way I can have a campfire. It's just, you know, it's too much. <sighs> oh, um, I guess I can. So another thing that happened to me on my way here is, uh, and I'm growing to not like it. I'll show you right now is, uh, so, this broke dang it so I uh, yeah so I keep my olive oil in here and this just freaking popped off yeah it's busted um and it leaked oil everywhere so I gotta clean it up dang it So I got to think of what to do about that. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and clean up the olive oil mess, which isn't a lot. It's, it's a little bit. Thank God it didn't like go everywhere. And then I'm going to fix up the fire ring in hopes that the wind dies down enough to where I can enjoy a campfire. I will say this. The, the one thing that is going for me is that I am camped within the trees. There are trees everywhere. So it's helping block most of the wind. But I still get gusts like that. 
And so if I'm getting wind like this, <clears throat> I can't have a fire. All right, so I set up the fire. I Luckily there's a bunch of wood right here. So I just used that wood to load it up and get it ready. So if the wind does die down, I can get it started and just use that and then add some of mine and some of this because there's a bunch right here and go from there. And I did clean up the oil. So something that did happen. So the oil was in here. I ended up taking everything out 
cleaning it out and uh, I also cleaned the oil. It did, so the oil ended up tipping. I lost about a third of it. It fell right there. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit and then I just put a bunch of dirt and piled it on top because I didn't want to accidentally step on it because it's, I mean, right in the middle of where I need to be at when I'm cooking and doing all my stuff. And so I took care of that. Something I did want to show you that I totally forgot because I've been dealing with everything else is that there are some bones right here. I'm guessing that's a cow that either got killed or died naturally somehow. I don't know, but there's a, there's a ranch I'm close to. Oh my God. I, you know, because of everything that was going on, I didn't have time to like wander and explore my camp area. And I just saw someone's makeshift toilet. Wow. Ooh, and there's toilet paper right there. Huh. All right. I see a little trash here and there. I guess let's take a walk around and see. Oh, what's down this way? I see something metal over here. An old barrel that's disintegrating, rusting out. Oh man, now that the sun's out, it feels so much better. Whew. And I have noticed actually the wind is dying down a little bit and the big gusts aren't as often as they were earlier. So, yay. All right, so I'm hungry and I've been hungry. And so I guess the wind has died down enough for me to be able to, I guess, start prepping and cooking my uh, tacos. So I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that. So. I can eat.
All right, my food is done. Take a look, see. I have everything cleaned up and pretty much put away. I, so sunset ends at about half an hour. And I guess that's when I'll see if I'm gonna start the fire or not. But I will tell you, because I'm in the shade now and the sun isn't hitting me, it is getting cold. It wouldn't be that bad if it wasn't for the wind, but the wind, ugh, it makes it, it makes it worse. It is 55 degrees right now. All right, I'm going to eat and I will see you guys in a little bit. The wind has all but disappeared. So the fire is roaring and going and it feels good. That heat feels so good. So let's just enjoy the very little bit of daylight we have left and the fire. I think I'm gonna get some tea going too. All right, guys, I am going to enjoy my tea, the fire, the rest of my evening, and I will see you at some point tomorrow morning.
Okay, so I decided to put the camera down once my tea was uh, ready to go and the fire was going. And I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna enjoy my morning before the wind picks up. Cause it, it you know, it's obviously, it picked up now. The, the fire's all out and it's been out for a while now. Um, I just watched that dwindle away and I enjoyed my tea. And then when the wind started to pick up, you know, I went ahead and I started to pack up um, everything in my tent. And, you know, I figured, let me get that situated and all organized, put away so I don't have to deal with that. And so that's taken care of. And I went ahead and put it in the truck. So, you know, the stuff that was in the tent. So now it's just a few things that are out here, you know. Now I just gotta, you know, put my tent away, the canopy and the few things that are out here. Um, and like, I did also decide uh, while I was enjoying the fire and my tea, that I'm not gonna make any breakfast. I could have then because there was no wind and I could have gotten away with it. But in all honesty, I didn't feel like it. Yesterday was such a fiasco and you know, I just, I didn't wanna do any of that work. So I actually have a bunch of fruit right here. So I have a bunch of fruit right there that I just cut up and I was like, I'll, I'll have that as my like, I guess brunch now and enjoy that and then after once i'm done with that i'm gonna finish packing up the last little bit that i have here and then chuck it out All right, cool. I got everything packed up, put away, just double checking to make sure I didn't forget anything. No, I just gotta put this in the truck. Does anyone else like pouring water on the fire and just having it go out, hearing that shh and all that, you know, stuff? I don't know, the little things make me feel good. Anyways, two weeks, man. Second week where things did not go good and it was just kind of a hot mess. Hopefully next week I'll be able to break it. But anyways, just like normal guys, I appreciate you. Remember, it is only impossible until it no longer is. And hopefully I'll see you next time. All right, take care guys.